Hey everybody, it's GliderCat and it's time to play. We're back in Farming Simulator 19. We're playing the Ricci Hollow map and we're going to pick it up right where we left off. We've got a bunch of, uh, got some odds and ends to do here. And then we want to get to, hopefully at some point, uh, buying the cow shed and buying some cows. Getting them fed and watered so we can start another, uh, another means of making some cash on the farm here just gonna put this wagon away we gotta do like i said a couple odds and ends i'm gonna collect the straw over here on i believe our largest field and then we're gonna fertilize this guy or not fertilize we're gonna plant and fertilize seed and fertilize i guess and get this field going boom grab our forage wagon we need to make a few trips up and down we've got a tiny harvester so the straw piles don't contain much now previously when i worked this field to harvest all the other straw i used a windrower and just had a helper windrow the whole field so we had kind of bigger piles so i wouldn't have to make as many trips up and down but because we've just got these few little stacks here i'm just gonna uh just lift these up directly or collect this directly. All right, I'm missing something. Power this guy on. There we go. So we'll need to make, what, four runs up and down. Just this little less, I think it's about half, maybe a little less than half the field. Then we can get our cedar going. And we can move on to other things. The straw, we'll see. I don't think we're even going to get a full... Full uh, wagon of it. So I'll probably just drop drop this off in the silos. We could make a trip and take it somewhere, but I don't. I think I'm just going to dump it in the silos for now. Kind of a low priority task. That is the straw collected, not quite half a wagon, and about 28,000 liters. We'll take this into our silos for now. Straw is a substitute for coal in a few of our factories, which is just awesome. I think it's. I think it might be a little easier to collect. Maybe not. Maybe once we get the coal mine, we'll find that that's not too bad either. But it's nice having that option to use this instead of coal. We've already dropped off a ton of this at the uh, Mammoth Mill. But we'll dump this off and then we're going to take a look at the map. And I'm just going to confirm that what we're planting is barley on that field. I think that's the case. Half of it's already planted. I'm going to put this wagon away in our shed. And I still got to practice my kind of backing up. We may put the uh, mower away. We're kind of just showing that off last episode. Kind of sitting where it shouldn't be. Yeah, I got to practice backing these things up. Okay, that looks reasonable. Let's hop out and get this mower put away. Again, I should power wash these. They look pretty nasty. But we don't have the power washer set up yet. We haven't bought one. But we probably will. It's kind of fun. Back this guy into a spot. Kind of nice we can use these sheds. We haven't bought this little parcel of land, actually. Okay, to the map. Let's see what crop we've got. Pretty sure it's barley, but let's just double check. Over here, barley. Yep, that looks like barley to me. 
Let's go back into our tractor and hook up the cedar. I think the cedar is filled with uh, seed and fertilizer. And I bought like a loading wagon or what, I forget what we call that. To uh, fill, it's actually right there to fill with fertilizer. We're going to probably get to using a different cedar. Not super crazy about this one, but I just wanted to try something different. This is actually upgraded from the one we started on. We started with, I should say. So let's uh, get this guy unfurled. Okay, I'll lower it, turn it on. It's set to barley. We're good to go there and just hit H to get a helper on here. Okay, now that field is on its way. Yeah, the cedar is fully stocked with fertilizer and seed, as you can see at the bottom right. So we should be good just to tab off of this guy. There is our little wagon. It's got seeds on it right now. But I was using this kind of little overloader guy to manually feed the cedar. It won't take seed and fertilizer directly from our silos there in the background. It needs something a little lower to the ground. So I still have to, this is not an optimal solution. I may find another something. Maybe a mod. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Let's, there's, we got another, geez. Can't seem to uh, get the camera right. One more nugget of ore there. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Here is what I want to get. Our truck, which I had to reset due to my poor driving skills. But not a big deal. Let's go sell the barrels. From the Mammoth Mill. Go collect them up and sell those. That will be the last of our revenue gathering activities here probably for a while. We can focus on getting our cow shed and our cow, I don't know, cow farming, is that what you call it? Cow husbandry up and running. It's going to take some cash. We need some equipment, a little bit of equipment. Um, trailer to move the animals. Cow shed itself. I'm not sure how expensive that is. And then we need to uh, bring some TMR over. And the cows, right? The cows are probably the most expensive thing in the long term. Because we're going to want to buy several to speed up the re reproduction process. Now, I haven't played with animals in Farming Simulator 19 yet. So I don't know if there's surprises waiting for me or not. But uh, last I played with animals was in Farming Simulator 17. I have a feeling there are some changes, but we'll see. For now, it's sales time. Let's do it. Sales and shipping. Back into the global company mod. Mammoth Mill, I think, like I said. Oh, firewood. We got to do firewood, too. All right. Well, we got a few things to sell. Maximum. On the pallets. These guys, I think think take the same nope not regular size pallets Z I think these take the tall pallets let's uh let's see we'll get up next to some of these guys okay it's not regular pallets I think these are the tall ones let's see uh maybe it's mediums nope yeah, tall pallets. All right. Click these up. The firewood also looks really cool. Let's see if I can zoom in. Look at that. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's click this up. Then we'll look at the uh, market window here and see where we can get the most dough for these. Oh, these don't stack. These do not stack. All right. It makes sense. We'll have to make multiple trips. Go to the market window. Raise some cash. Firewood. Oh, I gotta find it. It looks like... I think it looks just like logs. That's my guess, is that it's this. I'm not positive, but... Freddy's Firewood. 700 per liter, I guess. Freddy's Firewood is, I think I know where that's at, but I'm going to check the map just to be sure. I think it's right, where are we? I think it's right, okay, it's across the bridge and then over and there's a little drop off 
right on this road here. We could almost just do a big old loop. We'll probably do. We'll probably have to do four of these loops, unfortunately, but... Let's get to it. We gotta cross the bridge and again just watch for the train. We've been pretty lucky so far. I haven't been stopped by the train here at this stop. Looks clear. We'll go through. Oh, this is our road. I gotta slow down. We're gonna take the side road here. The shoulder of the road. Then we'll hop back on. Yeah, I think it's right up here. It's not far. A little ways past this stuff. Central station. Yeah, we can move products by ship as well, I believe. I haven't tried that yet. And trains, obviously. That's probably coming later on. I think this is our little firewood selling point. Let's see if we get any luck with this sell point. Not bad. That's uh, 56,000. I double I guess I'll just double back. 56,000. What is that? 112,000 for the first batch of pallets that we spawned from the mill. Oh, that money's going to come in handy. For sure. We're going to blow through it pretty fast, I think. There's all of those trees that if we get desperate for wood, we could buy that plot of land and harvest all those trees. There's a ton there. Ton of money in that plot of land right there. But we're trying to grow our own. It's going to take a while. But off to the right here, just over the bridge, that is all planted with trees. And hundreds and hundreds of them. I'm just noticing this is like a huge area for placeables, right? What do we look at that? I didn't even notice this. How did I not notice this? Oh, I guess we haven't been driving along here too much. Let's uh, let's take a look at the map just out of curiosity. It's kind of a distraction. What do we got here? A central warehouse and a central warehouse cold. And we got the Freddy's firewood down here. But wow, this is all placeable. And then we got a field here. Huh. Could put farms here. It's a little out of the way, right? It's a little bit further away from the TMR and all that. From our food mixer plant. It's not the end of the world. It is, well, it is quite a ways away from where we're making the food. We're making the food way down here. Near the blinking bank. Gotta stop my truck here. Yeah, we're making food way down here, and where we're at is up here a bit. We don't make a ton of trips. Well, we're thinking of putting the some of the farms here, but wow, that is a big plot of land. You know what? We probably can't even afford it anytime soon. Let's see what this costs. Ooh, it's broken down into two things. That's only 153,000. Oh, but you don't get the full, um, the full area. This guy is a million. This guy's only 153 and you got a lot of area there to build on. Nice flat space. Hmm. We'll have to give that some thought. Uh, yeah, I wasn't aware that this was here. I didn't notice that on the map earlier. Really good place for placeables. Uh, setting up some sheds, actually, for tractors to work all these fields that are surrounding it. Not bad. We'll keep that in mind. I'm inclined to start out with our cow farm a little bit near, a little bit closer to where we're 
making the food. All right, we need to spawn some more firewood and sell some more firewood. We're almost up to one and a half million. And we last episode, we paid off a little bit of our debt. Now we owe 400 grand. Okay, nine pallets. I'm not going to bother with that. Let's go to barrels. I think that's the last thing we need to worry about. Spawn those up. And this looks like... I'm going to bring up the helper. I'm guessing these are just regular pallets. Regular size pallets. Let's just see. I think that's what these are. Oh, yep. Good, good. We'll take a look at these close up here in a second. They look awesome as well, the barrels. In my humble opinion. Much better than I could do. Look at that. That looks cool. That looks cool. Again, the pallets have all those uh, branding marks. That looks sweet. Like it. I like it. All right. Oh, I got to find a place to sell them. Let's uh, go to the market window. At least that's what I'm calling this guy. There they are. Barrels. Boom. Oh, not much competition for these. They are probably an input to some other factory. But for now, we're going to sell them. Lowe's. Let's head over to Lowe's, see if we can get a little bit luckier with the uh, sell point over there. We had some luck at the ace, and then the firewood was pretty easy. Turn off the helper. We'll make the trip over to Lowe's. Definitely getting familiar with these two cell, po cell points. And then once we make this trip, we'll see how many more barrels we have. And I think we're going to be done selling product for a while. Hopefully. I may save those logs that we have kind of laying on the ground outside of the lumber mill. I may leave those out just in case we want to use those for something else. If we're desperate for cash. We can throw them in the mill. But I'm probably going to leave those just laying out on the ground. Just in case we want to use those for another factory or something. All right, here's Lowe's up on the left. Swing on in. I'll try that technique we used over at the Ace. I'll just hug the line of the cell point. Just hug that line and hopefully we'll get a little bit luckier and sell these all at once. Man, that would be nice. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Not bad. I like it. Not a ton of money for those barrels, but it's something. Get back to the mill. See if there's more for us to do. Maybe one more trip. Almost at one and a half million. More land and uh, kind of factories and farms for us to purchase out here. We'll get to that, but I want to get the livestock going first. Take our shortcut here through the diner. I'm sure they don't appreciate this. spawn some more pallets if we can if we've got enough for you know close to a full truckload we'll do it i think that's close enough 
This will be the last. I think this will be the last load. We'll see. Yeah, it will. I can see it didn't fill up the first layer. So this is the last trip back to Lowe's. Turn off my auto loader. This will bring us over one and a half million dollars. That's pretty good. This actual flatbed, I think, is a lease, too. We might want to turn that in and just buy it. If I can remember which one it is. There's like three different uh, modded flatbeds. <laughs> one I think I returned last episode. It didn't work for me for what I tried to use it on. This one I leased but I, a long time ago, but I can't remember which one it was. Well, it doesn't make sense to lease it. We should just own this for now. We, we probably have the cash to do it. We'll buy the livestock first and we'll see, but it's just another thing that we want to get to. Stop leasing things that we don't need to. Looking pretty good, I think. Bring up my helper, see what's going on. B, I'm using the wrong key. That's what's going on. All right. Uh, yeah, nice. One shot. Not bad. Another 50. What is that? 57,000? Something like that. All right, let's take this truck back to the mill, and then I think we may be done with this guy. Maybe we'll hop in the pickup and head back near the restaurant and see if we can place that cow shed. But let's drop the flatbed. I think we should just drop this off or park it near the mill. Seems to be where we're using it the most. We can always retrieve it. I don't want to leave it at the lows. Okay, we're probably going to pass this truck up. All right, let's leave this guy about right there. It's reasonable. I mean, it's not nicely parked, but that'll do for now. Let's hop in the pickup and skedaddle back to, oh, look at our helper just finished plant in the field. That's good to see. We can probably put that tractor away. Let's head back. I guess we could take the back way. Can I get over that? Let's just try this. What else is over here on this side of the map? Some more processing here. What is this? Let's take a look at the map, see what this is. I don't really know. Uh, stone processing. Cement plant and stone processing. So we have a bunch of extra stone that we're producing over at the ore mine. I'm guessing, <laughs> I'm guessing it's here, the stone processing or the rock crusher. I'm not sure what either one of those do. And I don't think we can find out until we purchase them. But that is a factory that is in our future. It looks like those, I think those are big water tanks there in the front. So we may be bringing water. Okay, there's another little bridge. And here's the restaurant. All right. This right on the other side of this bridge is where I'm thinking of putting our first cow shed. 
Let me hop over here. Ooh, we do have a sell point here we need to be aware of. The barn grill takes some products later on. That tractor is just an aesthetic. We can't hop in there. It looks kind of cool, though. Then there's our wind rower. We may sell that at some point, too, once we get a bigger harvester. All right, let's just check our fields and make sure that everything got planted successfully. Looks good. Looks really good. And if we check the status of our fields, it's not saying we need... Well, no, we need to check the soil composition. Okay, this guy, this whole field... Oh, what did... They, oh, we need to weed it. We need to get this weeded, I think. Yeah, we need to get this weeded. Let's do that next. Let's hop in a tractor. This guy. There's some weeds on the field. I'm gonna take this guy back to the shed. On the way there, we are going to try and fill up the seed bin at least. So I've got my little overloader over here filled with seed at the moment. We can get this filled up. Ooh, and I got a tractor hooked up to it. All the better. I'm just going to set this guy right here. Switch tractors. Unload the pipe here and back up. Of course, I got to do this right in the road, unfortunately. More planning. More planning. Let's see if we can fill this guy up with at least the seed that we've got could do the fertilizer too all right that guy's getting filled up full of seed and i've only got one of these little overloader guys or auger wagons auger wagons uh i think they used to be called overloader guys just kidding all right that is seed i'm gonna put off doing the fertilizer we'll fill this thing up with fertilizer later let's get this cedar put away and then we need to find the weeder i think the weeder is sitting straight ahead this car is probably going to turn one of these cars is going to turn maybe yep all right tractor's already gassed up that's my little fuel cart i'm not going to bother with that right now there's our weeder straight ahead we're going to grab that once we put this guy away Again, I need some practice on the uh, back and stuff in for sure. Good enough. Grab that weeder and hop on the field. We'll get a helper on that. Unfold it. I think it's the entire field, right? Yeah, I can see the weeds on the field themselves. You can see the weeds. Uh, right there, those look like they're weeds. I don't know if you guys can see those. Probably can. So let's uh, drop this guy down. This uh, weeder can actually plant things too, but we're just going to use it for weeding. I'll hit H, get my helper going. Zoom on in and we can see some of these weeds get taken up. Got these different height plants kind of in front of the tractor. And then when you look at behind the tractor, it's all pretty consistent. All the stuff we want to grow. So that'll get that job going. Let's see if we can hop over to the pickup truck. 
All right, and then I'm going to hop out of the pickup truck and let's look at finally, finally, finally placing the cow shed. I'm going to start with the modded one. I don't know exactly what this mod does other than giving us a little more storage here. It says 2000 units of storage for the cow husbandry, big cow husbandry. If we look at the default one or the in-game one, large cow pasture. This has only 200 units of storage. I'm hoping that's the only main difference. The maintenance costs. I don't, I don't even hardly pay attention to those to tell you the truth. Um, because they're just, they're just insignificant, right? We're talking about millions of dollars and this is $300 for a day, especially when I've got the days set to be so long, it's almost insignificant. I mean, it is insignificant. 200 units of storage for the base game one. And for the modded one, 2000, and it's a third of the cost per day, but again, insignificant to me. I'm going to double click. This guy is big. Let's see. I'll show you where I was thinking. Placing this guy. Something. I wanted to get it like that. Like right there, actually. Back. Let's uh, rotate the map. I'd like that dirt path to still be travel or traversable. I don't know what the right word is. I'd like to still be able to travel on the dirt path. That's what I'm trying to say. But I'd like this as close to the restaurant as I can without it looking just crazy. Yeah, that's too crazy, but this, that, that looks kind of reasonable to me. We're clipping the path a bit, but, um, that looks reasonable. I think I'm going to go for it. There's nothing we need to get to on the backside. We got plenty of side in the front. We can actually still cut grass. Let's go for the gold. 220,000. It's a little cheaper than the uh, in-game one. That's not why I'm choosing this one. I'm choosing this one because I think it's going to be a little easier to manage with the extra storage. Okay, there it is. Um, hmm. That footprint spilled over here into our drop-off zone. I'm not crazy about that. But it did kind of normalize our path back here. That I kind of like, actually. Is there a way in here? Uh, I don't think so. That actually, I kind of like how that turned out. Kind of created a new path for us, so we don't have to rely on the dirt path. We can still access the bridge. Hopefully we can still access that cell point. Even if we couldn't, it's not the end of the world. We've got access here to whatever that is. That looks like um, manure, right? Liquid manure. Not sure what this is. Maybe a water tank. Again, the animals may have changed from last time I played. Boy, I think these open, don't they? I thought they did. Yeah, they have to. Ooh. Oh, that looks a little weird, but. All right, these open. How do I not open them? How do I get them open? Pretty sure. Maybe I have to. Hmm. Yeah, I'm very surprised these aren't opening for us. I don't see a helper. Unless it's just the mod and the stuff is just hidden on the inside. Okay, this guy's opening. Maybe that's where we come through. Looks like it. Drop off our stuff. Yeah, I've got to learn, so I'm going to be learning here. This looks like almost milking stations here or something. I'm not a farmer, so I'm going to guess wrong. Oh, oh, oh. These open? Yep. Okay. Trying to close it.
clicking like a nut trying to close. Is it just the interact key? Look at that one. That is like way over. Oh, I'm sure there's some. How did I do it? Seems like it would just be the mouse. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. All right. Let's head out of here. Let's try this. Yeah, primary mouse button should be doing it. Now, where do I got to click to close this thing? I have to be out of the way. I'm not sure. I am not sure how to close these. All right, I'm going to take a look at the... Hotkeys. Just to see if there's something I'm missing that's obvious. Activate object R. Wow, lots of controls. I don't see what I'm looking for. Interesting. Looks cool. But I, sh I don't know why that keeps going. Primary click opens it up. Okay, that one closed, interestingly, mysteriously. Okay, there we go, that one's closing. Two gates here, I'm just trying to figure out why they won't close. They're kind of in a bad spot, but I guess they don't have... Well, they do have hitboxes. Clicking, right-clicking. Okay, there's that one going. Making things worse. All right. Don't know. Probably some special spot I gotta click, but I'm not. There it is. Wow. All right. I'm gonna have to get used to that. At least we are back to where we wanna be. Let's get out of here before I do more damage. And we'll have to figure out how to use this thing. We need to. And now we're gonna need to get water. Let's go get our truck with water, the big tank. That's this guy. We'll detach. Oh. Another thing I learned. Not detach these trailers inside the mines for some reason. They go nuts. But if I come, come just outside the mines, then I'm good. Not sure what the issue is there. I can... The water tank... Water tanker seems to be okay. That's over here. We're going to fetch water and take it to the cow shed first. And turn off the helper, probably. Whoops. Slam into that.
All right, let's go fetch some water. This tank is empty. We've got another boulder here that's spawned. Or, or we'll let this guy run. I think it's got plenty of diesel. And then we've got a water supply right near kind of our main setup where all our equipment is right now. I did go looking for other ones that are closer to the mine here, but I couldn't find anything. We may discover some as we go. But fortunately, the water is free. That's not always the case in maps. There's that grass we need to collect at some point. Not urgent. This is the other plot of land I thought about putting the farms. Kind of convenient, but it's not cheap, and they would barely fit. It's, they'd be pretty snug, at least these large ones. But maybe we'll see. Maybe if the duck one isn't as big, or if we the donkey or dog, maybe we could uh, put something in that little stretch of land, because that's not a bad little plot. Yeah, I'm just going to cut through the silos to get to our water, which is on the other side. We may, by the way, need to set up some fluid storage over here, some kind of liquids. Silos, because I don't think we have any. Load up our tank. It fills up pretty quick. Now we'll head on over to our cow shed. Still got 1.3 million to spend. That isn't bad. I know at a minimum, like I said, I know we need an animal trailer and there's a modded one. We'll probably use the modded one. That may be necessary for some of the other animals that we're going to have, so we might just start with that. And then I'm not sure what else we need besides the modded one. At some point, we're going to need to buy one of those trucks to handle the sludge and the wastewater and all that stuff, digestate. That's a product or that's a truck we're going to have to buy pretty soon. It's not cheap. Okay. I got to find out where we drop off the water. Logically that tank back there looks kind of promising. Let's try that first. Is this our water? Ooh, it doesn't look like it. <clears throat> No more capacity for water. That's interesting. Hmm. Let's go into the animal screen. I have not even looked at this yet. Do we have anything? No, we don't have any animals, so they're not letting us do anything with that. How about global industries this is, or global company? Does that show anything for the cow shed? I don't think this is tied into that. No. Whoops. Yeah, no, it's not in here, so we have nothing to worry about with that. Let's go around and see. That may, maybe we get a full water tank when we first uh, buy it. Hopefully it's not just, like, persistently filled with water and you don't have to supply water. The mod, that would be a little bit cheaty, I think. This looks like a place to drop off the animals, not water. I uh, don't, this looks like tanks, but it doesn't look like a place to dump off water. I guess we could drive through. The fact that that says no more water makes me think it's full. Let's see, maybe we just go get some animals. And that opens up the screens for us to see what's actually going on with this thing. Like I said, I'm just not familiar with animals and Farming Simulator 19 yet. I don't know if I got to bring that water in here somehow. I mean, that looks like a water trough, clearly, right? Oh man, not these guys again. <laughs> I'll learn the gates. It'll take me a while, but I'll learn how these work at some point. Not sure why they're so difficult. There he goes. That's clearly water. I don't think, unless this opens up, doesn't seem to. 
I don't think I gotta drive through here to drop off the water. These don't look like they're animated. In fact, I wouldn't really have a way to get the water in here. Is there a way? Let me hit F1. Are there any help showing me what's going on in this thing? Doesn't look like it. We may need to buy the animals first. Come through here. Yeah, I don't see... I see a bunch of little water troughs. I'm got to think it's... We don't need to fill these all by hand. More water there. Yeah, I bet we just supply it outside. Well, it may just take animals to get all this going. Some of you guys are probably driving nuts, not knowing how to do these gates. I'm clicking like a nut, trying to find the spot. <clears throat> Given up, we are going to take the semi and go buy the animal trailer. Let's hop in the shop. This guy, where is it? It's going to be here. I'm looking for the animal trailer. It's not, this one does carry animals. This is one of them. It looks like it carries everything. See a bunch of pictures of all kinds of animals. I thought there was maybe one more. House six. I thought there was another one. That's our garbage truck. We got to do that too at some point. Is there another animal trailer or am I mistaken? Fence for milk. Kind of cool. It's probably got a million capacity. 250,000 liters. It's not horrible. In terms of being just, you know, crazily overpowered. This guy, what is this? This is an animal trailer that's bigger. 80,000. It doesn't show the other animals though, does it? That this little guy does. Roll back to the little guy. That's you. This one shows horses. Guessing that's cow, pig, sheep, and horses, right? Those are the default animals. This one just shows cows, pigs, and sheep. Anybody else? No. I think I'm tempted to do this big guy, right? Twelve pieces and twelve pieces. Twelve pieces of cow. The other one. Sorry, I keep going back and forth. The other one is just six. Let's go with the big one since we're starting with cows anyway. We're going to buy it. Customize. Not much we can do. Attachers. Doubles attachment. I don't know what that is. I don't know if we can... Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with that. I'm going to get it, of course, even though I don't know what it is. And what's this going to cost us? 81500 sold. Yep. All right. I think the where we buy the animals is near the store, too, or near the vehicle shop dealer. Let's drop, leave that water here. We'll have to figure that out. I have no idea yet. I'm guessing it's got to be that tank, and maybe we just get a bunch of water to start with for free, or nothing really happens until you buy your first animals. Those are my two theories. Is there a water drop-off over here? Let's see. What is this? Sorry. No, just cones. I thought I saw markings for a drop-off there, but I don't. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, off to the vehicle dealer. Is 
There's our weeder doing his thing. About halfway done with the field. We will take the bridge over here. Got plenty of cash in my pocket. 1.2 million. We got kind of the presidential vehicle here in front of us. Looks like it's kind of... <laughs> it's kind of bounced around. Here, what's going on in there? All right. We're going to hang it right here. That's why I'm not passing. There she is, bright and shiny. That thing is really quite shiny. Might not be for long unless we get a power washer. Let's hook that up, then we'll take a quick look at the map and see where I can buy these uh, cows. Yeah, and I'm going to be learning animals here because I think there's some different stuff and I don't know what that stuff is. So let's look and see. Got some discovery. Animal dealer. Right there. We can actually mark this on the map, right? Animal dealer. Tag place. Tag the place. That kind of gives us an icon on the map telling us where we need to go. This... I'm going to have to do a U-turn, I think. I'm a little bit too snug there. So I'm going to do a U-turn around this power pole. More fields here we can buy. Hopefully we'll get to all that stuff. There's a little beacon telling us where the animal dealer is. You can see it straight ahead. We'll load up some cows and then we'll see... Um, we'll see if the, uh, the animal screen lights up and we can figure out what's next. Okay, this is the animal dealer, I believe. Where do I go? Let's try straight ahead. This looks like horses. Okay, open the animal dialogue. R. Boom. Pigs. Oh, man. What am I supposed to do with these different types of animals? Let's see. Oh, wow. Look at that. I was not expecting this. Okay. Cow brown. Cow brown and white. Does it matter? Is this just for aesthetics or do I care? Don't know. Really do not know. Black and white. Brown and white. Let's see about getting some of these guys. Brown and white for now. Move. Okay. How many can I fit in my trailer? Something like 24 or something? 12? I can't remember. Let's do six of these brown and whites and six black and whites and see if that causes a problem. 30,000. Confirm. That's nothing. Oh man, there's just stuff I have not don't remember since playing uh, 17, like seeing how many I've got in here. All right, let's back out of here. We're going to head back to the cow pasture. We'll learn it as we go. Looks like I could have maybe carried some more. Not a big deal. Basically just want to see the fire that uh, animal screen pop up so we can figure out how we supply the food and water. Whoa. Pick up the manure and then the dry manure and the liquid manure. Now in Farming Simulator 17, the default cow shed, you know, the manure just kind of spawns outside in a kind of a pit. All right, we'll hang a left here and cut over to the restaurant area. 
There we go. Now I saw something straight ahead that looked like where we would unload the animals. So I'm going to try there first. Sure looks like a place to unload animals. Okay, open animal dog dialogue. That's a good sign. And I guess I just hit move, move, move when these end up on the farm, right? I'm not sure why they say 2000, but I see our, uh, our bank balance isn't changing. And I think they were 2,500 to buy each, right? Maybe that's what they're worth to sell at this point. All right. Confirm. Boom. Hey, we've delivered cows. They are not in a pasture. They are all indoors. Oh, I take that back. There's one over there. Let's hop out of the truck. No, let's stay in the truck. And maybe hook up to the water. See what we can do. All right, we've got one kind of hanging outside. Another one's coming out. Let's bring up the animal dialogue, see what we get. Okay, now we've got something to look at here. Water says zero. So we got to figure that out. Okay, animals always need water. They also require a clean feeding area, and some require straw. Feed them any of the following types for best results. Provide the most effective food type. All right, total mixed ration. That's what we're going to produce. We have some. We'll bring it over. And I don't know if these guys need hay. I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Maybe they do. Do they need all of this? I'm not sure. Feed them any of the following food types. And for best results, provide the most effective food type. So I guess just total mixed ration. Oh, yeah. They need straw here for the cleanliness. Okay. Okay, and I think that's all we see on this screen. Let's see if we can get that water to take now that we've got some animals. Kind of surprised that we wouldn't be able to fill it before we hit animals. But we'll see. This over here just looks like the water drop off to me, but that looks like the liquid manure pickup. Let's see. Are you going to take it? Yep, yep, yep. Nice. All right. Very good. Let's unload that water. Oh, that's nice to see. We're making progress. Bring up the cow screen. Okay, water, it only takes 7,200 liters to be full. So that's not much compared to our truck. We need to bring straw over here. We left some in the silo. We could go get that. Why don't we do that? Let's, I'm going to leave this truck here for now. This guy is still doing the weeding. Got a little, quite a bit left to go, actually. Uh, do I have another tractor? No, nope, that was the one I needed. I'm going to unhook, leave this bin full of, um, seed right there and i'm gonna go fetch our wagon and bring some straw over and then we'll run and get to the uh, food mill or feed mill and get some um get some tmr loaded in and then we'll probably go get some more cows we've got tons of cash kind of want to load up i don't want to spend every last dollar i still want to get a truck to take the digestate or the liquid manure. And then we're going to need a way to get the manure up too. So that's either a front loader or that other machine that we can hook on the front of a tractor and it just picks it up and kind of shoots it into a wagon behind the tractor that you're driving. But we're going to need a way to deal with the manure here. What am I doing? 
need to get straw. Let's go back. Getting a little excited. I'm just going to grab a full load. I'm not sure what it takes. <clears throat> as much as I have, I don't, I think I've got enough in here. Let's just see what I've got. We got a lot of wheat, which is good. Not as much barley. Got some canola and soybeans. I think that works for pig food. If I'm not mistaken. Seeds, chaff, wood chips, silage. There it is, 464,000. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, off we go. This wagon is not a modded one. I think it's just a default. I'm not mistaken. The base game. Not bad. I kind of like this size. 52,000 seems reasonable. Not crazy overpowered. This dirt road here. <clears throat> Grass is starting to regrow. It's not fully mature. We may cut that again. All right, where do I drop this off, do you suppose? Let's see. Might have to pull in. I don't know. Not doubt it's here, right? This would be kind of goofy. Unload here. No, that's just uh we want. I think I have to drive through for this. I'm guessing I do. Let's uh let's let's head in there. <clears throat> yeah, there's a big uh, drop off spot. I bet that's it. Let's see if this guy's even gonna fit. Man, barely. This might be better first person. Trailer could get hooked up. There's our, there's our gate I left open. Okay, unload here. Let's go back out of here. Nope. I'm not actually getting the trigger. Okay, now I am. All right, there goes some straw. Oh, doesn't take much. Does not take much. Because, you know what, it's going to, these limits, I think, increase as we add cows, if I'm not mistaken. That's how it works. All right, we've got straw. We need total mixed ration, silage, and hay. Let's, before we do that, <clears throat> let's leave this guy here. And let's get more animals. Let's, uh, let's drop off more animals. That way we can uh, deliver more straw and more TMR and everything all in one shot. I don't have a bunch of wagons yet. We've got plenty of cash for more animals. Let's hook up to the animal trailer. I'm going to take a look at the mod again and see how many this guy holds. I thought it was a decent number. I know there's probably an easy way to find this out, but... Go with the way I know for now. Right... Here... Oh, 12. So we didn't, we didn't do too bad. Let's go get 12 more. Uh, we could take this bridge. It's probably closer, actually.
We could try to back in. I gotta work on my skills. My back and in skills are not as good as they could be. Let's go with more cows. Oh, I don't know what these Brahmins are. These are kind of cows too, right? Sure. We could find out. I think we're going to find out later though. I'm going to go with just uh, brown and whites. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I like the black and whites. One, two, three, four, five, six. Firm. Off we go. <clears throat> I think that's a full load. 30,000. That's nothing. That's nothing. We got a few trips to make. Here. I'm not sure how many cows that large pen can hold, but I'm guessing it's a lot. The more we get, the faster they're going to reproduce, and that's more money for us. That means we got to produce more TMR and everything, so we're going to have to come up with a solution for that. We're probably going to need more grass fields somewhere. May still buy that plot of land at the top of the hill. And behind the presidential vehicle again, we'll just turn off here. Let's see if I can drop these off without having to back in. I feel like it a little better backing in. Oh, maybe not. There we go. Unfirm. Boom. Try the animal dialogue again. We've got 12 brown and white and 12 black and white. Again, I'm not sure what the significance is of the different ones. Yeah, and see now our water limit and our straw limit have gone up. It's kind of why I want to do this uh, purchasing now. I don't know if this is going to tell me how many they hold. How many animals I can put in this... Uh, Large cow shed. I gotta think it's in the hundreds, but I could be wrong. Off for more. Do maybe two more loads and then we'll call it an episode. I might do a little bit off camera and then I'll go um, back up the straw and the water. I think we probably have enough on us to do it. I don't think I'll need to make special trips for that. There we go. 
Let's hop in there and take a look, see how everybody's doing. We're starting to fill up here with some cows. Very nice. Very nice. A little camera shy, a little still. Guys eating or drinking. Eating, it looks like. Although I haven't brought... Well, I brought a little bit of food. No, I haven't brought food yet. There is our tractor with the straw. Ooh, I might be getting myself into trouble here. I think I did. Anyway, so let's wrap this episode here. In between episodes, I will do some work. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to do a lot of work. I'm going to bring more, I'm planning to bring a bunch more cows in. Like a, like a lot. Let's see. It shows, I don't think it shows the limit anywhere, does it? Uh, let's just see. I'm curious if there's any indication of how many we can store. I don't, maybe that's 2,000, 2,000 cows. I have no idea. We'll find out over time. I'm going to get more, probably at least close to a couple hundred more. I think I should buy if I've got the cash to do it. We've got 48. Yeah, I think I'll get this up to maybe 250, somewhere roughly around there. I'm going to fill in, you know, I'll supply all the water and straw. We'll get the total mixed ration. And then I'm going to look to thinking about how we're going to handle this manure and the slurry and then even the milk now this tank here will take milk. We may start out with just another tanker like this. In fact, we may buy a few of these. We've got other options. We can buy the, um, I think there's a modded milk tank here, but boy, it holds a ton. It holds more than I think we need. I'd rather kind of upgrade to it. Yeah, there's the one for the liquid manure and digestate. Where is the milk truck? This guy, milk and goat milk. This guy holds 25,000. I'll probably go with just another tank that holds 50,000. Or the 40, what is it? What the existing tank that we've got. That is here. I'll probably go with another one of these guys. 48, 48,000 liters. Pretty sure this guy can take milk and goat's milk. So we'll start with this, one of these for milk until we outgrow it. Then maybe we'll go to this guy. It's 120,000 liters. And then if we really get to where we're just overwhelmed and we're producing so much, then we can go with the modded one. Um, but they've got. And then for the digestate, yeah, we saw that already. And then for the manure, picking up the manure, that's the one we got to figure out. May go with, where is it? Where is it? It's very cheap. May go with this guy right here. This guy does a bunch of work. Ah, oh, double up, pick up manure. Yeah, it looks like, I think that's the symbol for manure. I may go with one of these. And I may actually need to buy some more trailers to hold material. I may do this for manure. I may not do this for the ore. We'll see. We'll see. But I'll do a lot of that between episodes. And then when we come back, we will take it from there and maybe start thinking about the, the pigsty. Our next, uh, next thing we can buy for animals. Take a look at that real quick. That would be... Schwein install. Large pigsty with room for up to 500 animals. Okay, what's this 2,000? Don't know. But uh, that could be coming up soon. Same thing with sheep. Now, sheep used to just take grass to eat, but I think they have their own food now. Could be mistaken. But yeah, let's wrap it here for now. This is Gladdercat saying thanks so much for watching. Enjoy having you here with me on this journey of Farming Simulator 19. Still kind of learning how to present this game in the best way possible. 
So bear with me if you've got suggestions. Definitely put them in the comments. Appreciate that. Oh, the other thing I'll do is I'll debug what's going on with our weeder here. You can take a look right now. But you can see, oh, he, did he get it? He got it all. Nice. All right. So nothing else to weed, it says. So our fields are in pretty good shape. Nothing needs to be done except we need to put down some fertilizer here. I think we might have to wait a growth cycle for that. I think I can still fertilize in the third growth cycle, so I may wait on that field. The other two are fertilized. So we're in good shape. Yeah, and again, I got to give thought to using this area, buying up this land for grass, basically for food for the cows. Not too bad. We made some progress. For now, GliderCat again signing off. I will see you in the next episode.